So the title of this video is Golden Sphere Scam Alert, the Biracial Jerry Springer Show. And this video is a little bit of a response to a video that someone made about me a few days ago as a content creator. So what I want to talk about is the fact that the Biracial Jerry Springer Show has been a controversial discussion in this space. Most of the people in this space would agree that they do not want their trauma to be used as content. However, for whatever reason, some people feel that they really don't care how other people in this space feel as long as they can get clicks and views off of these other people. So the first thing I want to talk about is um, the Jerry Springer show itself. Let's talk about consent. Most of these people are not consenting to be a part of anybody's content. They don't want anybody talking about their childhood, their current state of affairs, any traumas that have happened to them. They're not consenting to this, okay? So when you're creating a Jerry Springer show atmosphere, a lot of these people haven't consented. I want to give two examples of this. One is Fran Brown and another one is Hybrid Vigor. In terms of Fran Brown, I was annoyed with Fran Brown over some things that she did, but my annoyance with her was a personal annoyance between me and her. Even if I confided in another person that I was annoyed with this person, that doesn't give them a right to then try to invite Fran Brown up to a panel that they knew I would be on and try to surprise us both with a surprise panel so we could tear each other's hair out uh, on live stream, okay? And that's exactly what people were looking for. They were looking for me to get on a live stream with Fran Brown and get into a huge argument with her. Fortunately, she did not show up because whatever issues I have with Fran Brown is between me and her. The next person is Hybrid Vigor. Hybrid was troubled over some different things that occurred you know, it's difficult to even tell what would happen with hybrid, but in any event, he also did not come up on the panel. I was very irritated by the hybrid situation because after the Fran Brown situation, I said, I no longer want to appear on panels on either of your channels. Okay. But what you did is you continued to talk to me and call me pretending to be a good friend and that we're just going to be doing this content together and to get up on this panel and just talk to hybrid one last time. And I told you that I did not want to speak to this man. I didn't care what he had to say. I didn't want to get into it with him. I did not want to talk to him. Okay. That was my decision. I didn't want to be involved in whatever he was saying on his channel. And that was it. It's that simple. If I don't want to be involved with a content creator, that is my right. However, against my consent, you attempted to set up an altercation with me and this person on a live stream. So I did not consent to that. Okay. So this biracial Jerry Springer show, people are not consenting to it. Let's talk about the next aspect, the sympathy con. Oh, somebody is coming after you. They're coming after you. They're attacking you. They're the ops. They're against this space. Blah, blah, blah. As a result, a lot of users YouTube users come to your aid. They want to help you. They feel sorry for you. You talk about your children and how people called CPS on your children and you were doxxed and, you know, everybody is trying to help you. And in the midst of all this, people are giving you their personal information, their names, pictures, phone numbers. Let's talk about that. Names, pictures, and phone numbers. After they give you their information, you are then holding it over their head. Oh, you're going to get doxxed. You're going to get doxxed. Anybody can get doxxed. You might get doxxed. You then start threatening them. Okay. Now they have to bully others on your behalf or else, right? They're going to get doxxed. This is what's going on. A sympathy con. Poor me, poor me. This person's coming after me. They're attacking me. Help me, help me, help me. And then what? Another video is made about these people. Another uh, 
insulting statement is made about them. And of course, they're going to continue to come after you. And then what do other people need to do? Now they need to get involved. Now they need to help you again. This is really, really, really disgusting. People are putting their livelihoods on the line to help you. And you know that. And I just want to say that, you know, my information, I had already done a clean sweep and had substitute information placed online because I already had a problem with some serious stalkers in my life before I even came to this space. But I guess people don't really care about that. They just care about a few likes, a few clicks. And to me, this 20 little likes and 20 viewers in a live stream, all of that to destroy other people's lives, it really isn't worth it. So I'm wondering what is in it for you, okay? Because honestly, a lot of people in this space have been on your side. They've tried to help you only for what? For you to turn around and do this, quote unquote, I'm going to go live on you, blah, 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 F this, F that, F U B and all of this other stuff. This is what you like to do. Harassment. Okay. But I, I really don't care. I don't care about all of the theatrics and people yelling into their phone for YouTube clicks and views. I really don't care about it. I'm just talking about the scam of it all. The Golden Sphere scam alert. Where we're setting up this biracial Jerry Springer show to random mixed and light-skinned people who come into this space. And a lot of them come in here traumatized and looking for community. And what's happening to them is people are terrorizing them and they are frightened beyond their minds. So no, I don't agree with you and I don't care what you say about me, okay, at this point. Because it's clear to me that you don't care about anybody else. So to call people selfish and say they were looking for you to defend them, I don't even know where you're getting this from. Because the other day you called me, you told me months ago that I was blocked from your channel. Okay, so I didn't come to your channel. Then you start coming to my channel. Then you get on a fight, get into a fight with somebody on my channel and start cursing at them and berating them and saying all kinds of rude stuff to them. And you guys are arguing and it was disgusting because, you know, I don't want that type of stuff on my channel. I just wanted it to be a discussion channel. But I also want to talk about the channel scam, okay? Because this is an elaborate little setup that we've got going here, okay? The Golden Sphere scam. So people come into this space as viewers, and they're encouraged to make a channel. And after they make their channel... You know, people are gassing them up, telling them how great they are, how good their content is, how wonderful they are. It's all smiles. Everybody is giving them hearts and love and flowers. And then all of a sudden, you're enemy number one. And everybody wants to go back and forth with you and start attacking you for clout and arguing with you. This is a scam. People have people's personal information. They're threatening them. They're, you know, bullying them online. This is a scam. Okay. I came in here. You asked me to create a channel to assist you with content. I didn't come to YouTube to be a content creator. I was just a regular everyday person walking in off the street, dealing with my own issues. Came in here, saw other people like myself, befriended some of them. And that was a problem. Because, see, I can only be friends with the people that you select. I can't be friends with anybody else. My friendships have to go through you, okay? And you have to filter out how many phone calls I can have with these people and when I can talk. This, this is the mentality that you have. And it's, it, it's idiotic because I can talk to whoever I want to talk to as long as I want to talk to male, female. I don't give a damn what they are. That is my purview. So you have people who are coming in here, creating these channels, and then they're being attacked. 
It's a scam. Their personal information is out there. Their picture is out there. You still got people talking about people in here need to cam up. No, they don't. No, they don't. They don't need to cam up. Make sure you do not give anybody your personal information. I'm going to repeat that. Do not give anybody your information. Do not cam up. Do not give your phone number to the majority of these people. You cannot trust them. You want to talk about not being able to trust me. I don't know why I've never done anything to suggest that I would use anybody's information inappropriately. So this whole thing where, you know, everybody needs to cam up. You want them to cam up so that their information is visible so that you can continue to terrorize them. And this ain't about no damn paranoia or fearfulness or none of that. Because I've heard you tell me multiple times, oh, you're going to get doxxed. You're going to get doxxed. You've said that to me multiple times already. And I'm making this video as evidence of what is being said against me. Because you're not going to get on a live stream and make it seem like I'm the one who's trying to do all this stuff to people. I left you alone. I don't bother you. I remain in my discord when I do log on to social media. Occasionally I make content and I am not bothering anybody. So for you to contact me and try to get me embroiled in some of your drama so that you can have a fresh video to put out, that's exactly what you did. There was no beef. There was no problems. You called me up and you created a problem so that you can hold a live stream about it and you can start cursing and calling me all kinds of names. Because before then, I wasn't bothering you. I didn't have anything to do with you. No, I don't want to attack people. No, I don't want to curse at anybody. I don't know what these people are going through. And I'm not going to be the one to sit there and attack them on social media. I don't do that. So that's another issue. And I do want to talk about BSIA as well. Because you see, this is another thing. You want to act like I'm threatening. I'm not threatening to dox anybody. I don't, I'm not threatening to dox anybody. I am not taping phone calls. What, what am I taping phone calls for? What am I going to do with something you said on the phone? I don't care what you say on the phone. You've got plenty of videos on social media. No one needs to tape a phone conversation with you. Okay. You said everything you've needed to say on social media. So what do they need a phone conversation of you for? You want to act like you don't trust people, so then don't trust them. Then if you don't trust me, don't call me. And again, BSIA, you called me. We were talking on the phone. You told me that you had a picture of BSIA and you were so excited. Yeah, I have his picture, y'all. And oh my God, he doesn't look like this or that or whatever. And I was like, really? You have a picture of him? Can I see? No, you can't see the picture. I'm not showing you the picture. Well, then why did you tell me about it? Now you want to get on social media and claim that I was trying to get his picture and I was threatening to dox him. I don't need to dox BSIA. Okay. I don't, I don't care what BSIA talks about on his channel, whether I agree or disagree. That's what the report button is for. Okay. If I feel like it's so bad, press the report button. Other than that, keep it moving. I don't care. Nobody's bothering BSIA. You want to make it seem like everybody is doing all this. No, it's you. It's you doing all this stuff. And that's another thing. Oh, you know, people are talking on the phone in the discord. Well, that's what discord is. See, you don't even know what the app is. The Discord app has a phone. It has a group chat, okay? It also has a feature where you can share files. It's a very nice, nice piece of social media. A lot of people go to Discord. They don't even come back to YouTube. You know why? Because Discord can be more fun than YouTube. You can have conversations with whoever you want on Discord. You don't have to worry about people you know, being inappropriate with you in a discord because you can block them and kick them out of your discord. Once you revealed to me that you were a troll, I had to think twice about whether or not, hmm, do I want this person in my space? I don't want people in there trolling other people. And whether whatever kind of space I have, I may delete it tomorrow 
It ain't that important to me. But I'm certainly not bringing in trolls, known trolls, who are looking to start trouble with other people. And that's exactly what you would have been doing. So no, no one's taping phone calls. Nobody is on the phone all day and night. All of these accusations that people are always on the phone and that everybody is on the phone. You're mad because you're not on the phone. Because if you're not, who gives a damn who talks on the phone? Are you mad at everybody in America who's talking on the phone or just the future is golden? Because then you need to rethink some things. I can talk on the phone to who I want. And my last thing, which is a huge thing in this space that I sincerely have a problem with, is the intolerance to differing viewpoints. Just because you're conservative, that doesn't mean that everybody else is conservative. If you're liberal, everybody else is not liberal. You know, this is a space for mixed people, to some extent, light-skinned people, right? Because a lot of light-skinned people are mixed. But I would argue that that needs to be removed from there. It needs to just be mixed people. If you're not mixed, you don't need to be in this space. Because we have people coming in with all these random mixes and Latinos and Blasians and they all want to come in and everybody wants to start arguing about colorism. Well, guess what? That is not necessarily all our issues. The people in here who are black, white mixes, they need to be able to have a space dedicated just to them. And to constantly keep bringing in these other people creates a dynamic where now we need to, you know, accommodate um, all of these other groups. No, we don't need to accommodate all these other groups. They need to make their own space. People, too, have a thing with this black men versus black women thing. Your dad was a black man. You're pro-black men. Somebody else's mother was a black woman. Oh, you can't stand them because they had a black mother. You can't stand black women. How's that work? Both are mixed. They both have the right to be in this space. People want to uh, be okay with black men, allow black men in, black men's viewpoints, put the cape on for black men. But when somebody puts the cape on for black women, it is a huge problem. Oh my goodness, you are a feminist. You are pro-black. No, 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 no. I am part black, part white. Okay, I'm, I'm arguing on behalf of both sides of my ancestry. I don't need anybody in here trying to make me a white lady with a zipper across my lips that they can zip anytime they feel like it because that's the only acceptable form of womanhood that they can agree with. This is a space for mixed people, male or female, okay? And they have the right to speak and share their ideologies in spaces that are safe for them. People have made it so that no one is safe in this space. Everybody can be the target of attacks. People are tagging random people who don't even have anything to do with other creators just because they're angry. Because maybe people aren't viewing them or... Somebody else had a problem with them or maybe a hit was ordered. Who knows? But it's inappropriate. And honestly, people were saying, oh, don't respond, respond, don't respond. I'm going to respond because it's a scam. It's a scam. And I don't I don't like people running scams on other people. And it's not called out. OK. So you want to bring me in off the street. You want to have me create a channel. After I create that channel, you want to try to use me and terrorize me and force me to do all of these things. Well, guess what? Sometimes you pick the wrong people to bring into the space. Because not everybody is going to agree with you. And if you can't handle differing viewpoints, then you need to stop welcoming everybody into your spaces and stop making it a, a label of that it's for this group of people when that's not who it's for. This is a space for a specific group of people, but you're not letting people know that. And then you're trying to use that to keep attacking them. So all of the people that are associated with you, I will be cutting them loose. I don't care how many people go. 
I don't care who wants to unsubscribe. Yes, it is a politically correct channel. Yes, I will conduct myself appropriately on social media because my parents raised a lady, not an animal. Okay? And if you have a problem with that, I don't know what to tell you. I'm very pleased with myself in that aspect. So I'm going to end it off here. And hopefully people recognize that they need to be careful with their ideologies and which channels that they visit and who they're visiting because golden goddess and multiracial movement and their biracial Jerry Springer show is extremely problematic and most people are not consenting to it. They're not consenting to it and they're being threatened all the time over it. And it's causing a lot of pain and suffering to a lot of other innocent people who did not come to this space for that purpose.